<clears throat> Aha, okay. Um, hey guys, T today I'm gonna, I was gonna either do, uh, I was probably gonna do more Ashira stuff, trying to finish that up. Um, we were talking about some, some interesting stuff internally today about, um, icons, like item icons and stuff. So, uh, I thought about maybe doing that, but, uh, it's kind of be, it's sort of troubleshooting. Um, so I need to figure out exactly what I'm doing there. So I thought I might just, maybe I'll do that Saturday. Maybe I'll stream it, but maybe I won't. I don't know. So I figured just to do a chill, chill stream, art stream, or do some, maybe play Vanguard later or something. Um, <clears throat> is this the latest one? What is this? Might um push down this and push this up so it's kind of like a bit of a zigzag leader as well. Anyway. Hey Pettis. <clears throat> so um I I just saw that you uh <coughs> Sorry. Um, your computer is good now. You just need to pick it up. Is that just because uh, you can't get there um, today or it closed or something? It's probably kind of late for you. It's six o'clock now, so they're probably closed, right? And if I if that was me, I'd be like running over there gotta get my computer back well i'm glad i'm glad it, they they sorted it out at least uh yeah they called me after they closed oh that sucks but why does the ashira have a neck pillow it's um I'm trying to do like a little fur thing for it. That's the intention anyway. But it, it, we might, I might not um, keep that. We'll see. Everybody needs a neck pillow every now and then. Sucks yesterday, or not yesterday, but last stream. I didn't, I didn't see that I was kind of a ghost. Uh, so hopefully I'm less ghosty tonight, today. I would have run out uh, there and grabbed right then otherwise, yeah. Did they tell you what the issue is? Yeah, corrupted Windows file. Was that, um, did they, is that something like they could kind of, like, they know where the, that, how that happened? Is that like just some spyware or something that got on your machine or Windows just, Took a dump on you. Just wondering how that sort of stuff happens. We 
You should avoid nefarious websites. I was leaning towards what's the issue? Yeah. He didn't say, I don't go on any sketchy sites or download torrents on my workstation. <clears throat> yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm surprised that, to be honest, like, I'm surprised nothing's happened to me, um, given, the, like, Sometimes I just download something without really thinking about it. But it's usually like art related. Like someone has a plugin or something there. Or, you know. Uh, hey, check out this private server type thing or something like that. I don't know. But on his non-workstation, <clears throat> that's what I was thinking too, Fizby. It's very, very distinct. You got to pay attention to the wording there. It's very um, specific, very uh, intentional. He's, he's downloading all sorts of crazy shit on his, his other computer. <clears throat> If I had, uh, <clears throat> sorry, if I had to guess it was a file from another project I was working on, we fired a studio and one of the files they worked, worked on, tried to install something on my rig, but my head said it blocked it. That's, that's shady as fuck. That was around the the time stuff started crashing. Man, that's that's pretty shitty. They like planted something.
<clears throat> the only other machine I log into is a work laptop, which I don't do that stuff on either. I do have an old... Hey, Belfaster. How you doing? I do have an old laptop that takes like 10 minutes to boot up. If I need to download sketchy files, I don't, couldn't tell you the last time I actually tried to boot it up though. It really is, it might. So, um, is this the, the computer that was, um, that was affected, that was, that was a works, a work, workstation? Does that mean that, um, that, uh, work is like yeah, helping pay for that? Uh, or are you kind of footing the bill? Or at least are they gonna, you know, reimburse? So I imagine you have to pay up front. Nope, all, all you? Oh man, that sucks. Hey, John. Ended up being a virus malware. It was a uh, Belfaster. Uh, it sounded like it was a Windows corrupted file issue, so software. You know what I was going to do, actually? Um, let's move this to export all color layers. It was a pretty penny too, oh man. But it was during the stupid high GPU days. Oh wait. Um No, I, I Pattis, I was referring to the cost of um getting it getting it sorted out. Um like because you had to take it somewhere, so I was curious if um work was um helping pay for that repair bill oh no again just me yeah that sucks
I want to export export UV layout. Import open. <clears throat> okay, so now this um is on oh oh shit mm, that's that's a thing. I was trying to put the, like the the clothing on a different layer. I just realized that uh. Sure. Body, male body, Ishira, male, clothes. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Justin. <clears throat> And I want to do this to the, the female version as well. I, I need, haven't finished the female texture either. Um, so let me save this. <clears throat> And delete that. Okay, cool. And texture import color layers, male body. Yeah, so this is cool. Um, I freaking love this. That <clears throat> I don't know if um, when you're when you're painting three D stuff in Photoshop, if you can control the layers like this, but like, uh. I can preserve the Photoshop layers um, in 3D coat. So it makes it really nice. Uh, kind of working, working in back and forth, you know? So all of this is gonna be, is just his body. So I can paint the body now uh, on its own layer. I don't have to worry about um, how it kind of like doing them both on the same layer. It makes it a little bit easier. like that um i'm probably going to want to do throw together an um <clears throat> a, an exploded version or something 
Or something without the cape, at least. Maybe. Did all the PC characters already get modeled? No, Lightning Stripes. Um, I am taking a break on those um, until we get... Um, we we need to like actually get the human and stuff um just like the three initial ones that we have kind of sorted out um to the full extent cuz um you know it was pointed out that uh it's kind of a little <clears throat> premature i think to model all the player characters when we haven't really gotten the human kind of really in a fully functional state the way we want it. So, um, I decided to use the time to, um, knock some other stuff, uh, off the to-do list, such as the Ashira, which have been kind of You know, they've been on the list for a while. I've been trying to get to them, so. I thought I missed a bunch of streams. Nope, nope, we didn't, um... Oh, shit. That's cool. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, dude, that's that's cool, actually, seeing the... I can see that there's some... Looks like there's some gaps or some stretching. It's interesting. Uh, that's cool. I wonder if I need to be concerned about this. Hmm. Anyway. But yeah, so um, I've been kind of focusing on Ashira and we we got a guy a new guy on the team for the to handle the animations going to take over that so that's good so we got like someone who really knows what they're doing on that stuff normal facing the wrong way um I don't think so. I think it's just um because I I have these it's it's probably not really liking the triangles there for whatever reason. Um and I I have this like super stretched. Like this is this this area right here is like this area right here. So I don't know, it's just reading it weird, I guess. But as long as it looks fine with the texture and stuff, I think we're okay. Um, while I'm here though, let me... Wow. Wow.
So let's export this again. I think I need to close this. Mail body. Yes, I want to replace that. And we'll do new. And we'll re-import this with the exploded version. And we import that back in there. And now I can paint uh, below the belt. Oh, wow. Yeah, could just be some funky rendering issue in the Blender. I know Maya has similar. It's actually, it looks fine in Blender. It's it's just um, 3D coat is being weird about it. So it's it doesn't seem like it, it's causing any. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. It doesn't look like it's causing any problems um, ever, any, anywhere else. So I'm, I'm just going to kind of ignore it for now. I think it's probably fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Keith, it's going to be so dope seeing these guys game. Yeah, I think I should, um, I could probably send it over to, well, I, I think, uh, Kirk and staff is, is kind of busy with, um, the current character model stuff. I think it might be worthwhile to throw this in game as a T pose or something. Maybe I'll do that, um, later tomorrow or something, you know, just get it in game and, and we'll see what people think and that sort of thing. I mean, I, I don't know, like, I don't know if, uh, Sean doesn't like when I do that or not though. But I guess it's also, if I do do that. It's very clear that it's like placeholder when it's in T pose still, so I don't know. One thing that we haven't done, even for the jackal, I don't think, we didn't paint the bottom. Uh, so I need, that's actually something I need to go back and do as well. They need, they need little paws. And actually, 
I need to change this to flat shade because <clears throat> that was uh, just making it confusing to look at. Hmm, that doesn't look good. I'm just kind of jumping around a little bit. Um, When am I getting that sweet, sweet mod invite? Oh. Um, let's see. How about now? <clears throat> Can you ban people yet? There you go. And I don't think you can ban me from my own stream, so I'm safe. Stream suddenly ends. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Funnel me 500,000 points so I can maintain googly eyes all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, Keith, does being a mod, um, can you like, are you, do you have infinite um, Zook bucks now? Didn't actually check that. That could be a problem. It's too much power. I could, in theory, refund every purchase, but I swear an oath to no abuse of my parts. I didn't even know you could do that. Clearly, I didn't think this through.
got to paint this um it's very butt it's a dirty job somebody's got to do it right I really like the Yashira. They're, they're cool. Um, but the only problem is like now everybody thinks I'm a furry artist. So that's kind of a downside. Doing some back alley deals over there. Money change, Zook bucks changing hands in, in the dead of night, dark alleyways. There's a lot of money in that, at least. I mean... I could, uh, single-handedly fund the entire project. <clears throat> Back to serious business. Serious business only on this stream. If you want, if you want huckles and chuckles, you're you're on the wrong stream. It's serious business only. Okay. What else do I need to do here? I wonder if I should just, um, just so I know that this is not on that layer. Trivia for Zook. Fill in the movie title blank. Saving Private Ryan. Easy. Here's my eraser button. Let's do this. You get you got a, a harder one there, Fisby. Uh, 
I, I got it immediately. I'm a movie aficionado. I've seen all the movies. I don't think I can rotate. So that's one thing, uh, one thing you can do. You can't do that in, you can't rotate the, the canvas, I think, in this program. So there's that. That's, that's perhaps one shortcoming, unless there is a way that I'm not aware of. Well, it was to get you to sit. Oh. <laughs> I, I missed that. I missed that. I'm sorry. Let's see if that does anything. What's crazy is you can project, um, like, I don't know, man, this, I'm just continue, continually blown away by, um, this, this stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you can like go between Photoshop and 3d code, preserve all the layers and project, um, uh, you know, Checked all the, the detail onto the 3D model. So, is this on my screen or is this on the. I, I got like a little smudge on my screen. I need to clean my screens. I got some smudges. Um, it's, I guess I can, I can technically save, um, this 3d code file, but generally what I do is, um, just like export the texture and that's how I save because I don't need the model to be saved. I don't need the project to be saved. I just need the texture. That's, that's what I'm doing here. Um, so I just saved. Thank you. Fisbee. Okay, and I need to remember to switch layers. Somehow this, uh, the ear got smudged, I guess.
evening mcp live how's it how you been i don't think, I think you've uh stopped by in a bit or you haven't um chatted at least from my recollection at least my my shitty memory so you could have been there the whole time and i forgot but i hope you're doing well I fired up a human mage on P99 and was completely lost in Quenos for about 45 minutes. I'd taken a gummy about two hours before, but still, that shit is hard if you haven't played in a while. So I, I've always been like a Freeport guy. Um, cause I, I like, I like, I, I tend to go to Fadewar. Um, and Freeport's right there, you know, so I, I didn't frequently go to Quenos, so I never really, um, never really memorized it very well. Uh, so yeah, I, I always have a hard time getting around in Quenos as well. I love how EQ2 had players learn language. Yeah, that was really cool, Justin. I don't know. I guess it was kind of... They tried to put it into, like, quests and stuff where you had to learn... Like, you had to learn how to speak dragon in order to talk to Nagafin for that quest and all that. I don't know if it was really used anywhere else or in any other way. Man, that new Freeport they put in the game was ass. I never, I, I stopped playing before they did that, so I, I've heard of it. And I, I may have even seen, like, some images of it or something, but I've never actually, you know, seen in, in person the new Freeport. I didn't, I didn't like the those, like, smoothed out, zones that they they started doing it with Lucklin. uh I, I didn't that was like a bad it, it didn't i don't know because you're so used to a certain kind of um design you know the low poly stuff i don't know i just i guess like it it, it you can get away with it 
when you go to like Luckland and stuff and it's like a, everything is new but when you try to like up up res existing you know zones in old world then it's like eh, it's kind of a different thing I don't know Grob and Kelton were the standout cities for me. I love the weather systems in Inithal. Yeah, there's something about Inithal Swamp that was um, that was really cozy. And it's interesting because Inithal Swamp was, felt like kind of cozy, but um, just next door, uh, the Ogre Swamp. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, I forget now. I can't remember. Um, but I I didn't like the ogre sw the ogre jungle um area. Is interesting. You're not even gonna see all this amazing paint I'm doing on his chest. Troll and Dark Elf Towns were my preferred areas. Wasn't a big fan of the Ogre Town. Yeah, the Ogre Town was kind of, honestly, it was kind of boring. I guess you'd expect an Ogre Town to not be, like, interesting or well-designed. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of, meh. Could have, like, I don't know. Could have done put something in there and make it, even though, the, like, it was built by kind of dumb dumb guys like it could I don't know Nurek had a bar with strippers that would dance if you paid them that was awesome detail I swear go look Nurek like third quarter or something you know what I'm gonna boot up our quests um one and start a character in Nereac. <laughs> Justin's got Justin's got to find this bar, this uh, strip strip club. Thank you, uh, Belfaster. It's Firat, and that's that is the the word I was looking for. I couldn't remember. Yeah, I'm. I didn't particularly care for the Firat. Um,
Might have to take these um, side bits off. Wonder how I can project these without. Let's do. Let's see if I can. Left, right, 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 right. Okay, let's see if I can project this on here without it breaking again. Because last time I did this, I got some artifacting didn't want. Do it, Justin. Find the strippers. Complete your destiny. <laughs> Report back. Yes, we, we are waiting with bated breath and hands full of cash to, to know where this strip club is. I don't know if this is going to work out. This, uh, this is, it seems like it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. Also, I've also got to worry about how it looks on the back, I think. So perhaps. I don't know. That damn sound really gets to you. What? What sound? Oh, the uh, the sound of fear. I, I wasn't even I wasn't even thinking about the sound. Um, but I guess yeah, that um, that would get to you after a while. Um, I don't, I just aesthetically and like design wise, I always get lost in there and I just don't really like the look of it. I don't know. I don't really know what it is, honestly. I should have checked if Skeleton had a googly eyes. Oh, mm, does it? I don't think it will. Will it? That's an interesting thought. Um, I will give you guys a freebie because I'm actually curious. Um, let me see. So let's see. I'm going to do... I need to add icons to these things too. So let's do skeleton. <laughs> it probably won't. No, it won't work. Um, I don't think because it's using googly eyes. Let's see. Yeah, it's it won't work together. Unfortunately, that'd be cool though. But um, because it's, I kind of switch cameras when it does that. I have to get a brother tomorrow. Good night, guys. See you, Pattis. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad your computer is on the mend. Look forward to having you back on the stream. On the stream team.
Oops. Gidoki. I need to project this again. And I need to start up my music again. Uh, let's do some red hot chili peppers. How about that? You guys can't hear it. But. I'm listening to it. They came out with a new album, I guess. Um, I didn't even realize. Uh, I had just been like listening to like s some of their stuff on YouTube, and it's like there's like a song that I really liked. I was like, oh, I should you know grab this CD or whatever, and it turns out it was like a new album that just came out. Oops. What? That didn't save. Save, save, save. What the heck? Um, okay. That's... There's the ears. This is not playing well. I've been listening to some newer Opeth. I was talking to Keith about uh, music and he sent me this. I need to. I need to add an edge loop here. Hey Beaver, how you, how you been? How's it going? Tell me everything. I must know. Um, but yeah, so um, I was talking to Keith about music and he, he was sharing some, some of the stuff he was listening to. Um, 
and he like linked uh like a oh what's like a song in um it was like from spotify and he linked it in in our chat and it, it, it like it it like embeds like a little preview uh, apparently it's not the entire song it's just like a, a section of it that just kind of loops and i was like oh wow this song is rad like it's like kind of goes on forever i love this is really cool um and i was like oh and then i found out it was just like a preview i was like oh okay well damn uh so they had that is really catchy as a loop apparently i i went and listened to the, the entire thing though and i i kind of didn't like it as much i i, I liked the the looping version of the song better funnily enough who is this fish Okie dokie. Known for their 15 plus long minute songs, very much a jam band. It's a long song. <sighs> Everything's going all right, still fun employed and working on various projects. Set outside for a bit today and prov and provide an ample amount of peanuts to my vein or my avian friends. Nice. Yeah, I I, uh, I wasn't feeling too well earlier today. Um, so I went and um, sat outside for a bit, kind of unplugged from technology for a little while. And that helped. Nicodemus When it's not hot um, in Arizona, I'm usually out in the trails hiking. Just wonders from my mental health. Yeah, I definitely don't get outside enough, I'd say. Um, say I work from home for my day job and then I do 
Eminem stuff. And then I, I play video games sometimes. Uh, it's kind of more than sometimes lately. Uh, so. And I've been kind of staying up late. Lately. So, it's kind of a lot of sitting at my computer. And I think I overload it. I've also, and it also doesn't help that when I eat a, like a bunch of sugar. You know, so it's kind of overloaded myself, I think, to, uh, today. So let's save this again by exporting Share male body. I don't know about this, these, these bits here. I'm, I think I might just, I might just ditch those. For the Ashira to be the first living humanoid NPC model, you guys have done, must have pretty big role in the area story, right? I think, um, Sean was talking a lot about the orcs as well. Like, um, when we get orcs set up, he wants to like throw them everywhere. So, um, I'd say, I, I'd guess that the Ashira are, have, um, fairly fairly large role or impact i guess in the in the region but there's definitely not the only that will be there um and like i mean there don't forget like there's other stuff we're planning it's just the sheer is what we're kind of getting to first um you know there's gonna be giants and um, other things. Orcs, I imagine. Can't wait to see those Viper people you sculpted. Yeah, man, I, I was thinking about, um, well, lizard people thing, lizard design. I wanted to sculpt something else. Um, I'm still trying to, still sort of pushing towards getting some, um, you know, lizard playable race at, at some point, if possible, or, or an avian race. Um, Depending on how it pans out. I'm near total shut-in. I'm in near total shut-in. And it's only going to get worse as my vision continues to fail. 
Speaking of sugar, the crumble cookies flavors this week are incredible. Uh, crumble cookies flavors. I don't know what that is. I probably shouldn't know. It's probably, it's probably better. I don't know. <laughs> uh, taking care of one's mental health is important. I like to center myself doing some art. Most of the stuff I do during the day is so rushed. It's a Zen moment. It's me when I can get art done. Yeah, it's the the Viper people. Well, oh, I guess they did do the that was me. Yeah, um, Goblin did do like that one kind of snake people race concept that was really cool too. So that's. Mm -mm. Keith gifted uh, Panda Stranger. He's not even here anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I I got rid of the one that we had uh, because it was a copyright thing. And I just haven't gotten around to adding one back. That's a scary sound, though. Do you have the EverQuest Ding sound? Um, what was copyright? I had so the one I had before was um, it was like the Batman that old Batman dance. Um, it's like a, uh, here. I'll, I'll do it and we'll get um, uh, Uh, duh, 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 duh. this one so this is what it was before because um the reason I had it as that is because the the kind of ma I felt like it matched well with like that troll like do getting hit by the whatever whatever animation that is. Um, but yeah, it was getting it like it 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 just means we can't monetize the YouTube videos. It doesn't like get us in trouble. Like I guess so. I could still technically use it, but I just didn't want to, you know. So, I just need to I need to figure something else out um, that works better, basically. Why is this? What? Uh...
This happened before. What am Uh I don't understand why this is Oh, I'm erasing this why. Gotta have the paintbrush. I'll keep your heart rate up. <laughs> it's supposed to be exhilarating. Adam West dancing. But the duo barrel roll is okay, right? Yeah, I mean, that one's okay, but um, it's also very loud, and that freaks me. It, it gets me every time. Just about. So I was going to, like, maybe lower the volume on that or something. I don't know. But yeah, I... um. There's a couple things I need to, to mess around with, I think, like, um, the subscriber sound needs a thing, and I wanted to, uh, kind of do more with that, um, the rocket filter. And I think there was something else I was thinking about doing. Have Sean do a happy dance. Yeah, uh, Nicodemus, you just reminded me of the other thing I wanted to do was um, I need more Sean. I need I need more of the 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 party, the summon a cult member things in general. I had a, um, another Sean one I wanted to add back in there. I want I really like the um, cursed item one, so I was going to put that one back in. Um, but then I was going to try and add some other people or something. Someone pat us, someone Keith. Since you're into furries now and all. Wow. Wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> um, Goblin did, uh, did draw up a large good race as tiger people. Good mom. Yeah, that was a really cool sign, actually. I really liked that one.
You can find some really funny drops from those old EQ interviews, Sean. <laughs> I think that's going a bit far. Like if I'm hunting down old ass interviews of Sean, I think uh, that's crossing some some sort of HR line. I'm gonna get a, an email from HR about it. It's come to our attention that you're harassing the boss. Could you please not? Oh, damn. Beaver made me do it. Yeah, Keith has sent me like um some some clips and stuff a lot. Um and there's like some that I'm just like, no, nah, we can't do that. That's that's not cool. <laughs> I mean we, we have a chuckle to ourselves, but we're like, yeah, we we don't wanna like put that on, on the stream or anything. See if I can get this frickin' Some of the, the Sean Seanisms are hilarious out of context. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, I don't want to like, and I've said this before, um, <clears throat> and I, I've told, um, I've told Sean, like, if there's anything, if like I put up any of those that like he bothers him, uh, and I'll take it down immediately. Uh, cause I'm not, I'm not like trying to like, you know, it's, it's not to make, make fun of anybody. It's, it's all about fun. Uh, you know, we're, I want to include him in, in the joke, not like laugh at him. That sort of thing. Um, so and he's he's a he's a good sport about it. It was impressive how professional he was and could just power through. It was like a news anchor completely unfazed. The name may as well have been John or something. Um, Sean would just read usernames um, from chat without skipping a beat. Dr. Boner69. <clears throat> what was the inspiration for the Warrior Epic class? Uh, we'd get him in trouble with... Uh, my girlfriend sometimes because I always listen while, while going to bed and I laugh and shake the bed. Hey, <laughs> boner 69. Oh. 
Stargoth, 88, 86. 86, yeah, I need to get my glasses. <clears throat> How's it going? I don't know, it could be, it could be Dargath 69, 90, yeah, I don't know, like, it could be anything, it could be, uh, Dr. Boner 69, who knows, you crazy kids and your internet, internet jokes and, and whatnot. What the fuck did I just do? Why is it? It's not rotating anymore. There's like some some weirdness about like oh there it goes okay I don't know what the freak happened there. I, occasionally I'll like accidentally click something and screw up everything in this program and I'm like what the fuck did I just do? Need some NM chill vibes, rough work week stuff going down personally. Oh man, sorry to hear that, man. Hope you, uh, my, my chill, my chill stream, my chill vibe stream, uh, heals you. Oh. Put on some um, <clears throat> background music of your choice and um, just relax. I hope there's a, a Shira language I can learn on my troll fighter. They're all better. Googly eyes cures all. <clears throat> Is it just me or do the eyes change size? Like the, the pupils are sometimes like smaller. I don't know. I don't know if it like changes with, um, I don't know. I feel like I've seen them be smaller. I don't know. Sure, are coming out great. Will these be the models used for pups? In the newbie yard we've seen? Yes. Maybe you scale down. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think we're just going to do the old um, make it smaller for the lower level ones and make it bigger from the higher level ones trick. Um, I don't I don't know. If, as far as I know, there aren't any plans to make like other models for. I mean, maybe we will if there's like other Ashira stuff or maybe we'll try and make some some clothing that um, we can add on top of it, like attachments and stuff. Uh like for robes or hats or something. It, you know, it'd be really cool, actually. Um, <clears throat> the the Othmir in EverQuest, those otter, that otter race, 
Um, I really liked how they, they had like a couple different like outfits and stuff for them based on, I, I assume they were based on the class that they were because I didn't really spend much time with them. But I was, um, it'd be cool if we gave them like a, a little hood. Um, Like a, a little a little hood or something that their ears pop out of. <clears throat> That'd be cool. You know. Something like that. I don't know. Just a random thought, uh, kind of off the top of my head, you know. Little, uh, little, uh, fox hood type dealy. Ah, come on. It's hard to do this with the stylus in my hand there. Ta -da, he's got a hood on. Now he's like, it's, looks like Robin Hood. <clears throat> yeah, I love the Othmir. Uh, we we'll love uh, googly eyes available in Zoom calls. Nicodemus, if you set it up properly, you can. Uh, you have to, like, if you put, if you send your camera into OBS and then you use OBS to send this, the video to zoom, or I guess if you're using the, the snap felt camera thing, you could, you could probably do it. It's like a virtual camera, I think. Um, I don't need, I don't do the zoomies, so I don't know. Um, uh, Ashira with a bowler hat. What's a bowler hat? If Zoom has an API for their AR. That'd be cool if, uh, if more ubiquitous mob types like orcs could support the same armor pieces, player, player characters. Yeah. Maybe if we can, <clears throat> like, Th that was one thing that Goblin wanted to do. He wanted to have like all the, um, all the stuff have the same UV set and that would allow us to do that sort of thing. But it, it gets, it's going to be tricky doing that on all the NPCs and stuff. Um, I'm not really a fan of doing that because it kind of pigeonholes, um, or, you know, it's just, it makes, it, I don't know, it puts certain limitations limitations on, on certain things. Um, like, yeah, so I didn't do it for the Ashira. Maybe the orc, the orc being more of a humanoid, like more standard humanoid. Maybe we can get away with it. Maybe we'll do that. Um, 
So I did try to at least um, for this one, I put the the t -sh the shirt and the like the clothing kind of all together. So if we did want to do at least um, some color variations and stuff, there it's like easy to do because they're all clumped together. Any P99 players here use um, an ultra wide? Having issues with using the correct gamma video settings, full screen is fine. And Maiden's Ashira. <laughs> the Ashira Tales. Yeah, the veil, uh, veil. Oh man, a veil? How would that work? I gotta mirror this again. Subdivide them. Oh, let's let's leave that. So quickie little kind of this doesn't really work very well oh anyway something like that that looks pretty cool I guess uh I don't know. I did. Anyway, distracting me. Ah, I'm trying to work here. You guys, are the worst. Uh, what would what would this look like if I do this though? That's pretty cool though. Um, I could see them having like some sort of outfit like that. I don't know if that's centered properly, but that they could actually have something like this because um, they li they live in the desert, right? So they probably want to protect their face. I don't know. You guys got me on like a tangent now. I can't stop. Oh. 
I don't know why this is this not centered this guy uh Maybe this isn't centered. What the fuck? Get out of here, you. Uh, this. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, that could be a thing, I think. I don't know. Whatever. It's God's work. Just keep at it. <laughs> uh oh, right. You can use a virtual camera in Zoom. Run that through that. I have to use Zoom for government. Oh, that sucks. I am not allowed to use add-ons for commercial communications or work. Mm. Fun free zone in the aerospace industry. Too much is like that makes sense, I guess. Can't be goofing around, right? I had I would not I would not survive in the in that environment it sounds like I I you know I got to crack a joke every now and then The hats the dudes wore in Clockwork Orange we encourage we encouraging you to flex your creative muscles maybe a Mad Max black leather muzzle and ear clips earrings would be cool that would be a cool addition Um, but yeah. Desert tribal types could um, be slavers. Whoa. Nicodemus getting getting serious over here. I mean, this is just a cool game. We, we ain't got it. But yeah, we'll probably have that. <laughs> oh, well, I, I can imagine that because, uh, the orcs did it in Crushbone, and they didn't get canceled. I don't care about that though. Like, honestly, like the dwarves really they had it coming anyway. So, and who else is gonna make my screaming mace? Like, I, I need one. I can't not have a screaming mace. Think of Charlie Chaplin. Oh, okay. Bowler hat. Yeah. I was thinking like a hat you wear when you're bowling. And I was trying to think like, what is, who wears a hat? Like a specific hat for that. I think it's just like a bowl, bowl hat. Bowl, and maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You're probably right, actually. I don't, but yeah, I, I know. I know what you're talking about now. Charlie Chaplin analogy or description did it for me.
Feels like Eminem should 100% get an Eminem sponsorship. That'd be dope, dude. I I eat M&Ms a lot. Um, I had way too many today, actually, and I'm probably gonna have more later anyway, cause heck the rules. I'm looking forward to the day when animated hands, similar to those in EQ, make their way into Eminem. Animated hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm really looking forward to that one too, actually. Uh, I, I was thinking about that. Um, I've thought about that before. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to do that. I like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun making that one. The the ones in EverQuest are really cool because they did um they had like an undead version as well or something. That's really cool. Yeah, so the the animated hand is something I'm looking forward to in um I mean it's not really a secret that we'll have dragons, right? And I really I really want to make a dragon, so Wonder how much of this texture can actually I can reuse on the the female. Let's save it. Um, and I'm actually curious if we. Open. Sure, female. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. On the female as well to be honest it's just not worth it um and if we load oh shit i'm sure you could use single monsters Energy drinks to sponsorship. Save as male body. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, it kind of works. It's the same sort of UV. So that's cool. I can use um I 
for the, for the body at least, I can use kind of the same. I mean, there's some seams and stuff I need, I'll need to fix there, but that will that will help. We like swap between the two. Because a lot of the major. Quick question: When was the last time you hit save? Bro, I literally just saved. Um. Or Monster Energy could sue Eminem for trying to confuse their Quick customers. Question. When was the last time you hit save? Bro, I literally just saved. Actually, you know what? I just changed. Um. This this one, so I'll, I'll save it again. I'll save it again. You guys are picking on me. I'm gonna save it again. This is a safe space. You're not allowed to bully me like this. Oh, howdy, howdy. That's a that's a good one. S still still fun. Your pressure in to save your work. <laughs> yeah, it's for real though, bro. It's picking on me, that's not cool. This is gonna be, you know, doing the texture for this, like, um, it's gonna be a while, I think. Probably, probably not gonna stream. I don't know if you guys wanna see all this, cause, um, I think Goblin spent a lot of time on the fur for the jackal as well. Um, I feel like I'm going way slower than he is. Um, so there's still, like some other stuff I want to do as well, like the zombie and stuff. So I could do, uh, I could do some streamies of that. And also the, the icons that we were talking about. Um, so come on, man, everyone else is saving their work. Give it a try, man. Better than peer pressure to delete your work. Yeah. I'm pretty, generally speaking, I'm pretty um, immune to peer pressure stuff. At least when it comes to like stuff I don't want to do already. Like I never got into drinking because I was like, I don't really care. Or drugs or, I think someone, some people try to get me to do some stuff at one point. I was like, nah, I'm good. And they're like, come on, man. And I was like, no, leave me alone. I don't want to be cool. Get out of here. So. I don't like this. Do you ever save after it auto saves because you don't trust auto save? I've done that old school programmer. Yeah, dude, I don't, you know what I do? Like, so in for ZBrush, every time you like close, the, you hit the X to close out of the program. Even if you just saved, it's like, uh, do you want to save before you close the program? I'm like, yes, please. Even though I, I know I just saved. Like I double save shit all the time. Uh, cause you, you can't trust that shit. You know, it's like, you can't, you can't trust yourself. Did I just say save or do I just think I just saved? Like, yeah. So, and as far as like auto save goes, I mean, blender, blender and, um, ZBrush are pretty good at it to be honest with you. But like, uh, it's, it's, they're good when you like shit crashes and you're like, oh no, did I just lose everything? 
Uh, it usually comes through, but like I don't. Um, I don't just rely on it for the the usual saving type. So. I forget, did you or Goblin do the original Jackal texture? Uh, Goblin, Goblin did a lot of the detail work. Um, I just kind of did a, kind of a quickie base and he, he kind of did a lot of the, the detail, like all this fur and stuff. Goblin did all this. So, um, I tried to like save as much as that as I could when I was making the, the Ashira. This is a lot of work um, and it looks pretty cool. And I wanted to make sure that the, the, the Ishira and the Jackal are, you know, they look similar, so. But yeah, he, he did um, a lot of the work there. This model is now out of date, actually. Whoa. Export all layers. New. Delete these, so I got a clean, clean import here. Uh, uh, what? Did I just override? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh man, that sucks. I need to save like um two copies now. <laughs> Fuck. I hate when I do that. Huh. That really sucks. You guys told me to save and everything. I I exported I was trying to import but I I exported instead and I overrode the file. So now this is the file. Um so that sucks. Um but I still I still have the the PNG. I still have this so I didn't lose everything. It's just I lost the Photoshop version, which with the layers and stuff. So that's a slight setback. Um, import, we're importing color mail okay I feel like it lost some detail 
Or am I just imagining? I wonder if there's anywhere else. Do I have? I don't. Man, that sucks. Um, now would have been a good time for an autosave. <laughs> ah! I blame Keith. Me too. Frickin' Keith. All that negative karma from doubling the ice save grant. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure that was it. Like, you can't do that. I gotta put a lockout timer on the save. Uh... I really can't stand that man. <laughs> Someone should ban that guy. Um, yeah, so, so the good news is I didn't lose really anything on the body, like the fur. I feel like ah, there's some pixel quality that I lost. Um, but like in terms of progress, not really. Which is good. Um, uh, that really sucks, though. Uh, the only thing I did lose was, like, his shirt. And that's, like, an easy thing to repaint. So it's not a big deal. Um... That kind of kills the, the vibe for the evening. Um, I wonder if there's any way to recover that. Mm -hmm. Is there like an autosave location for Photoshop? in my downloads yeah I mean like I said it's not like the I didn't lose like everything um so it should be quick to like get back to where I was um Oh, wait, there we go. That, um, I guess that is still kind of a quality loss. It looks a little bit better without the, the lights on, though. But yeah, so let me, let's, let's go back here. Export this guy. We are exporting. Okay. I'm going to start saving like two copies now. Goddamn googly eyes. I sure don't need shirts. They walk in the buff or walk in the fluff. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um. Up, up, up. Yeah, so let me... I had, the other thing I had in here was like the, the UV layout, which I don't really need, I guess, but it's. Wah. UV. Um, body. Layer zero. Save this. Import. 
we are importing this guy. Okay. Let me just redo his shirt real quick. Um, Uh, what did it look like? It was, so I had like the triangle and there was like another shade of gray at the bottom here. So yeah, that was kind of where it was anyway, so um it's not like I I didn't spend a lot of time on the on the shirt yet, so it's it's cool. Check your Photoshop command history. See if there's a step before the save. Uh, I, I'm not saving it in uh, Photoshop though. That's the problem. That's the only downside, I guess, to this workflow is that can happen. And that's kind of a big, big issue, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess. One thing, so like the, I was like closing this out of Photoshop because that I was, I wasn't sure if I could like override it while it was, um, open. So let me, let me just do that now and see if that works. And then I'll just do that from now on. Okay. Yeah, I can. I'll just do that from now on, I guess. And it just updates it. So, so I guess that that'll be one way to mitigate that sort of thing is just um, not closing the the Photoshop file. We'll fix it. I mean, we can still blame Keith for it, though. I think we should. Yeah, it was just a, it was just an oopsie, um, but it's okay. We're we're not like. What is this? It's like the. Is this the one? Oh, this is this is the voice. I need to save this. Um <laughs> so um Yeah. My music stopped. 
also. Interesting. Let me... Let's try something here. So if I do, like, a big red X... Um, a big red X. Like this. Um, and I save this. Import this. I think this will just update it too. Yeah, so, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna start doing that, um, not closing any of the files, so I don't accidentally do that to myself. Uh, it seems like I can easily just update stuff without having to close, like, do, I was closing it for some reason, because I'm an idiot. Uh, so, yeah. Cool, cool. That's how you learn. You make a big fuck up. Uh, sometimes it can be a good thing. A second chance to do a task with the, all the knowledge. Yeah, you're not wrong there, Nicodemus. Adding changes uh, you would not have done the first time. Oh no, I got googly eyes now. But they're small googly eyes. This belt was darker. Dark belt. Seems like the perfect opportunity to get some life advice from Teeny Zukin. <laughs> yeah, you want some advice? Don't close your Photoshop files. That'll be 80 Zook bucks, please. Teeny voice, googly eyes. Who would doubt it? I got nothing to lose. Look at me. Oh, my googly eyes are gone. I got something to lose. Don't look at me. Uh, let's... Some have devil and angel on each shoulder. I only have teeny, <laughs> two teeny zoots. Which one's the good one and which one's the bad one? The one with or without the googly eyes? Who do you listen to? They are both evil. <laughs> I think I have a, a demonic. Oh. I have a demonic um, voice option here. I think it's actually Darth Vader. I don't know. One of these? I don't, I don't know. Oh. Hello? Aisle 7? There's a, the gnomes in Aisle 7, please. And then there's a robot, evil robot, you know. 
Fun times. Fun times. I don't I don't have any of those labeled. I should probably label them so I know what I'm doing. But you know, I'm not a professional streamer, so I don't I don't put labels on things. What are you using for the voices? I have a Go XLR uh, as my main audio interface. So because uh, I have a stream PC and my regular work PC, so it, it, it can send the music, send the sound back and forth across those two. And also that's how I'm also able to listen to music in my headset and not send it to the stream. So you guys, so it doesn't like copy strike me. Um, and it, it comes with um, a voice changer and I have uh, some like sample, some samples, which um, I don't know if they, I, I don't mess with those generally. I, guess I, don't, I don't know if you guys can hear them. Let's see. Stupid B. You blew it! Jackie again? So I don't know if you can hear those, but um, I, I'm not like, I don't remember to like, use them in like if if i could like work them into like some regular gag or something then i'd probably use it but oh nice i, I like the goxl even though i really use it yeah man like even for non-streaming um i mean i guess you wouldn't really need it if you just have one pc and you're not streaming um but i freaking love it I, I love it. Like I, cause I have the two PC set up. It's, it's useful even for, even when I'm not streaming, just manage the, the two audios across the two. Um, yeah, I, I love it. Um, there's, there's been a couple other products that have tr tried to like, you know, do that sort of thing. And, um, I've, I've, there's been like videos about them. Like, wow, this is like, this is so cool. It's going to kill the Go XLR. I'm like, man, that looks like trash. That doesn't do any of the shit that the Go XLR can do. So prior to getting the Go XLR, I used voice meter banana to route audio. And it was a bunch of mental genetics. Yeah, Beaver, I did the exact same thing. Um, I... I initially bought like an actual like mixer, like an uh, XLR mixer with like all the switches and everything. And I was, I was getting um, like a, an electric buzzing sound in my audio and it was driving me crazy. And the thing was so huge too. It was just like, it was just too much. It, w it was a pain in the butt. Um, so I tried doing, I tried using voice meter uh, as well. And that kind of worked, but it was, it was like, it was a bit confusing. Um, and you know, I, I don't know, having, having just like a physical thing that handles it, just sits there and does this job. Um, I, yeah, it's, uh, I, I have not looked back since, so definitely happy with it yeah it's 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 nice to just like yeah i don't know it's just so easy to like just lower the volume of the, the entire PC just with like a thing like that. And I guess you could just be like, Oh, I'll just turn the speakers down. But, um, I don't know. I, I also like fancy gadgets. So there's that, there's that element to it as well. But yeah, I spent like a lot of time and quite a lot of money. Um, screwing around with like my my setup trying to to get everything that i was happy with and i was like always like fiddling um with little pieces like you know and like getting getting lights and a, a camera that um had a good quality that i liked and was easy um to set up and 
all this stuff um and like the green like a green screen and all this stuff um so it took a while but um i think at this point i'm happy with everything and i haven't like had an urge to buy any new stuff yeah uh, in a while so i think i think i'm done like i think my setup is done so which is good because I don't want to, I don't want to spend more money. <laughs> and it was, it's good timing to, to get all that stuff before pandemic. Do you use a three monitor setup? Yeah, I have two monitors uh, on my main PC and then I have uh, just a smaller, um, I have a smaller monitor for my second stream PC just on the side here, but also, uh, and this 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 is a cool little thing that I just, I fucking love. I, I got a touch screen for that one. So I can like, to do like quick, like, changes and stuff on the stream pc like uh like every time you guys like say something that gets um you know caught by the uh the the chat mod uh, i can just like click on the the uh, allow button on the screen and you know so it's like it's like a little thing um i just i don't know i love it it's 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 fun i don't know i'm just very happy with um how I got all my stuff set up right now, so. So it's cool. We're good. Other than me uh, not knowing how to use Photoshop, apparently. Um, we good. And really, that was Keith's fault, right? That's the story I'm going with. I was thinking of getting one of those huge ultra wides with a monitor above. You are a professional streamer. You are not a professional streamer. I think you are doing great. Um, think of it kind of like a professional stripper. <laughs> it's just you can still be very effective with minimal training. <laughs> well, thank you. Should I take my shirt off? Um lightning stripes. Personally, I I have I don't I'm not interested in the ultra wide um especially curved monitors. That's not for me. Um, I'm worried about, um, from like an art creating standpoint, um, I don't know, maybe this is a, a fallacy, but I'm worried about like, it's screwing up my straight lines or something. Um, so I, I haven't really been interested in, in that stuff. Um, I, I tried a, a high refresh rate monitor and, um, I don't know. I, it kind of made me, I, I guess I was getting affected by some motion sickness. Uh, but I was also playing like GTA in first person. So that's probably not like the best thing to do there. Um, so I settled on like just a 4k instead. Um, and my reasoning for that was, um, it's like a 4k at 60 frames. So, you know, uh, lower frame rate, but more pixels. And my, my thinking was that like I could record or stream at 4k and then 
when it gets crunched down to 1080 or something, it'll be sharper. It'll look clearer because I was really obsessed with um, like the video quality of my streams and stuff. Uh, so that's why I have a freaking stream PC and a 4K monitor because I wanted to get like the best like video quality I could. Um, so that was my journey. Uh, is this supposed to be something else like this? I don't know. I think an ultra wide plus one other monitor, whatever side monitor is ideal. Unless you need a separate monitor for a separate setup. Yeah, I mean, it all depends on what you're doing. I think like two monitors um, for your day, like, if you if you don't do anything if you're just like we're playing games um i think even i could you, there w there could be an argument for even having a second monitor there um like having the game up and having like youtube or um like discord on the other monitor so you can like keep track of messages while you're playing a game or something um i don't know if i could go back to a single monitor at this point but like a third monitor is probably more unnecessary um, unless you're you have it for specific cases prop would be my guess um, but yeah uh, so a an, uh, like a ultra wide with another one on top that that would be yeah I could see that being a thing I think a lot of people do that actually. Um, I've seen a lot where they have like the ultra wide and then they have like a really large screen up above, like for media con uh, cons consumption, like a, like a TV kind of thing. Have you ever tried a horizontal setup? Vertical. Guess it, so, uh, like, rotating the monitors, I think I've tried that. Um, but I have, I, have, I have my monitor, my two main monitors um, in landscape. But I have them stacked on top of each other. So I have two landscape. Uh, so it's like kind of like a, I have a wall of you know, monitor in front of me. And I actually, I really liked it. I, I like it having stacked. I had them like side by side and I found myself kind of looking at the other screen a lot uh, to watch YouTube and stuff. And my neck kind of hurt from doing that so much. So I, I stacked them so that uh, I could just kind of like use my eyes more and, you know, just kind of, Rotate my head up and down rather than side to side because I, I thought that maybe that was better. So it works for me. I could I could take a uh, photo. We should we should all share our setups after this. I'd be curious. I'm always curious to see people's. Uh, let's see. We're we're getting close to the end of our normal time here, and I feel like I'm noodling with this. So I think I might um export and not imports uh we're exporting this I just do game dev coding stuff, not much art stuff. 
Do you use art assets from Unity Store for your game? We'll probably pay someone for legit assets once I'm further in development. For my fighting game, I currently have Low Poly Neo and Morpheus as stand ins. Nice. That's my favorite part of development, figuring the stuff out and then pr passing it along to the wife to make it pretty. Nice. Oh, you know what I didn't do, actually? Because uh, the... This, this little thing here is also... It's cool you guys do projects together. I have made small games for my wife to use in our classroom. Anytime you can turn learning into a game, kids will obtain more of it. Definitely. It's cool that you have a a project like that with your wife that that's a cool thing to have to share I guess, you know what I could have done, uh, I guess for this, at least with the cape, I can uh, copy the one from the female. So there's not, not a loss too much there. Okay, let me export this again, and then I'm probably going to roll on out for the night. Um, it's been an emotional evening.
um, with me losing all my, my work. So if we open this, of course that the, the this um, method still has a, a fatal flaw in that uh, it doesn't. There's no undo there. So, I don't know. I need a better way to do this, perhaps. But this is what he looks like right now. This is the male, male, um, the male, the male boy. The male woof woof guy. It looks pretty cool. I, I'm I'm digging him. Uh, maybe I'll throw him in um, in engine as uh, in a pose like this, um, just to get the ball rolling. Um, because it's going to be a while before the texture is finished, and that's something that we can just update. Oh, someone did the googly eyes. Freaking Keith. I think you need some color contrast. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, definitely more contrast um, for sure. I just kind of threw some colors on there for now. Some, some patterns. He is the fault of your current mental. <laughs> yeah. Keith uh, threw me off with, with all the googly eyes. That son of a bitch. Okay. So yeah, um, this is going to be it for tonight. Um, thanks for hanging out. This is cool, cool chats. You guys should totally um, share your setups in Discord. Um, I'll, I'll do, I'll show me, I'll show you mine if you show me yours kind of thing. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, and uh, I'll catch you guys Tuesday as usual. Um, I was thinking about doing uh well i won't say if i if i do like a weekend stream it'll be a, a bonus surprise thing but who knows like I, I was thinking about it but i don't know um but yeah so i'll see you guys thanks again and good night